Hi, I'm Dr. Laurent Banach and I'm the Director of the Institute of Performance Nutrition. And in this Science to Practice overview, I'm going to be focusing on nutrition strategies to support athlete immunity. So upper respiratory tract infections, otherwise known as URTIs, are a common illness amongst the general public, particularly during the winter months. And these infections can include, of course, the common cold, but also tonsillitis, sinusitis, laryngitis, and also pharyngitis, to name the key ones. But this is also relevant because athletes who engage in intense training have been seen to be particularly at risk of developing a URTI. And although the evidence shows us that moderate levels of exercise can actually be supportive to the immune system, protective if you like, and help reduce the risk of URTIs, what we do know is that excessive levels of exercise, such as seen in overtraining syndromes, there's an increased risk of upper respiratory tract infections. And overtraining is a very high risk, particularly in elite level athletes. So the occurrence of a URTI is important because it has a number of neg negative aspects, apart from just feeling crappy. It will help to disrupt or lead to disruptions of training. It will cause underperformance and or potential withdrawal from competition, which of course for an elite athlete or a professional athlete or any kind of athlete is a fairly serious to extremely serious situation. So we obviously want to protect the athlete and ourselves as performance nutritionists by ensuring that good nutritional countermeasures are put in place. And what's great is that there are various evidence-based performance nutrition strategies available for our toolbox, which can help protect immunity and reduce upper respiratory tract infection risk. And number one in our list of potential strategies is that we need to ensure that there's a high quality, fresh and varied diet to help prevent any micronutrient deficiencies. This therefore requires a food first approach, but also that our diet is full of a variety of fruits and vegetables, rich in various colors, essentially one that suits the eat a rainbow concept. And this is because it will help ensure that our athlete is consuming a broad range of immune boosting nutrients. Number two in our list of strategies is that we must ensure that the athlete does not regularly neglect certain macronutrients and be sure to consume some protein and carbohydrate before and during and after exercise, particularly where there is prolonged intense training sessions occurring. We should also ensure to keep oneself hydrated to promote the secretion of salivary IgA, which is an important part of the mucosal defense system. So the third strategy in our list of um, options here is that we need to ensure that the athlete avoids prolonged periods of severe energy restriction. And this is particularly uh, a high risk in elite and endurance and ultra endurance types of athletes. And this is where over time, this can place a great deal of stress on the immune system, leading to an increased risk of URTI. And this is why we need to remember to fuel for the work required. And if body composition is a goal, and in particular fat loss, is um, we're aiming to reduce body fat, then we need to adopt a moderate energy deficit or an energy balance imbalance of 10 to 20 percent. The fourth strategy in our toolbox here is that we need to uh, measure and monitor vitamin D status. And that is because vitamin D is now recognized to play an important role in the upregulation of the immune system. And despite this, vitamin D deficiency has been seen to be common in athletes, particularly during the winter months. Now more on this will be 
uh, found in our upcoming uh, science practice overview video to keep your eyes open for that. The fifth strategy here is consider supplementing with the following supplements. But first, I want to reiterate the importance of a food first approach and ensuring that we keep our mind on energy balance. So the first supplement that we're going to consider would be probiotics. And the evidence tells us that a daily dose of around 10 million colony forming units of live bacteria um, can be of benefit. The evidence also suggests that bovine colostrum could be an option and a typical protocol would be in the region of 20 grams per day for 12 weeks. And finally, another supplement that could be worth considering would be quercetin, where the typical protocol is around 1000 milligrams per day for three weeks. And as with all supplemental considerations, particularly for elite and professional athletes, you should always choose supplements that are informed, sport tested or equivalent. Now, this is a really deep topic to dive into, and therefore I highly recommend that you read this excellent review by Professor Neil Walsh on nutrition and athlete immune health. It's open access, easy to find, and um, is a must read in my opinion. To accompany that paper, I recommend you listen to my podcast, uh, my recent podcast, episode 124 with Professor Neil Walsh, where we dive deep into this paper and to related topics. And um, amongst the many podcasts that I've done that would be of benefit to you, these two in particular are relevant on this topic, where episode 69, we discuss the general concept of immunology and training and how that relates to sports nutrition with Professor Michael Gleason and also uh, episode 44 with Dr. Glenn Davison where we talk about nutrition, physical activity and immunity, um, also a must listen. You can access those uh, podcasts and our various other outputs at our website of course where you can also learn about our online diploma in performance nutrition, which is our advanced training program for those looking to become highly trained specialists in sport and exercise nutrition. So uh, if you enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a like and do visit our website at www.theiopn.com and also check out our other social media channels, uh, Instagram, Twitter, etc which you can find um, at the IOPN.com. At the IOPN, I, of course, am Dr. Ron Bannock. Look forward to bringing another video back to you very soon. Take care.